I bass played Greg Sylvia on the Greg Sylvia Music Channel. Um, this is the third installment, the third lesson on the modes. If you haven't checked out the previous two, please do. And if you haven't subscribed to the Greg Sylvia Music Channel, please do. It's painless and some free lessons, pointers, clips of performances, and some musicians, work musicians' comments and segments coming up that you may identify with. Uh, today we're going to play the arpeggios that go through diatonic comedy, the keys that go with the modes. One major seven, two minor seven, three minor seven, four major seven, five dominant seven, six minor seven, and the seventh minus seven flat five, or half diminished, you might know what else. Okay, so we're going to start with C. Now, if you don't know what these arpeggios are, you can please contact me. Um, this is first and foremost to go with them. You need to know this. Actually, maybe before the modes, <laughs> but I'm trying to do the two together um, to make it work. So I'm starting with the modes. Uh, you know, in this segment or this level right now is kind of intermediate. You should already know the, these, these arpeggios. So that's what I'm doing. First, we're now going to connect the two. Um, so here we go. So we make one, one major seven. So we're just going to see. Start this one. We're going to see. We always think degrees one because we're moving these through all twelve keys, and they need to be played clearly and slowly so you can hear them. For some of you that already know these, this may be basic and just a rerun. Um, so bear with it, bear with it, because we're going to be doing some music with it coming up on the next lesson. We're going to start applying this. So one major seven. We're in the key of C, so C of course. Two minus seven. Three minus seven. Four major seven. Five dominant seven. up with the major seven, C, you know, C in this case, but one octave. Okay, so you're just you're doing ascending, descending on each degree. Going up and then the order, and then going down the order, ascending, descending. Okay, and then there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can do all ascending, go the order. And then if you go down, you'll be a. Go down the order. It's okay, like, I'm kind of semi phrasing. I'm not playing like. Which is what you should do at the beginning. We can also play if you want to make music. It's okay to phrase with it. Just make sure you're in time. Or swing, swing what you're doing. Um, next, you can do descending. Some students need to struggle with this at the beginning. Um, but I'd say it's to just keep going through the other ones and take this one at a time because you're not starting on the root, you're starting on the seven. But this will really get you to know if you can play these fluently. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he's playing those all descending. The next next part of this is to try to tie the, or tie the two together. So you can see the arpeggio within the mode. You already know it's there, but let's put it under our fingers, okay? Because um, as you improvise it with the mode, or with the modes, they go, of course, with the, I call it the mother chord. I always call it the, the chord they're diatonically assigned to. But like I said in an earlier lesson, you could use Dorian or Aeolian over the same minor chord. It's just, you know, you can just ways to mix these up. And we're going to mix them all up over one chord, too, that come, that's also coming up. So what I say to do is to um, you know play play the mode, play the arpeggio, or vice versa, whichever works for you. I'd say to try to do both. So play the mode. Thank you. 
You get the idea. And then you just do this descend, you know, up through the order again and down through the order. You can do the arpeggio first, you know. Actually, start to mix up the arpeggios jumping from degrees. They could be ascending or descending. You can you mix both. Or you go, maybe they'll go. Skipping. One's ascending, one's descending. Or jumping around. You know, play a, play a, a mode in an arpeggio. Or a, vice versa. Like, you know, it could be. And swing, and that's an exercise. That's really what it is. That's what most of this is. But the other ones have like a harmony reason. This is just mixing through the keys to see if you really know them in the positions, especially in all 12 keys. That's the key. Music doesn't always come in one key. Um, just see. So you got to know all these. And I hope you get something out of it and enjoy this. Like I said, if you have any questions, please contact me. Um, lessons, Silver, Greg, <laughs> lessons at GregSilver.net. So it's a ton of stuff. And I'll try to help you out. Uh, be the question, believe me, there's no charge or anything like that. Just share the wealth, share the information, you know, try to make everybody a better musician. Everybody can, you know, like, I appreciate people do that to me also. But if you are interested in lessons, please contact me, contact me at lessons at gregsilver.net. Have a great day. Until the next installment, keep on, keep on going. Thank you.